This is example 6 from page 180 of the A1 textbook, and it says in triangle ABC, AB is 3.8, BC equals 5.2, and angle BAC is 35 degrees. And it says find angle ABC, which is this angle here up at the top. Now it's important to note that we're going to use the sine rule to find this one, and we're going to use the version of the sine rule with the, angle, the sine of the angles on the top. And in the sine rule, we should always note that it is the side and the angle opposite it that are important in each fraction. So if we were to work out, try and work out directly angle B, we need the length of the side AC. Now we don't have that. So what we can do as an alternative is use the 3.8 centimeters with the angle at C. Once we've worked out the angle at C, we can use that in the 35 degrees and the angle factor of a triangle that we add up to 180 to work out angle B. So let's work out angle C. So we go sine of the angle at C divided by the side that's offset, 3.8, equals sine of 35 degrees divided by 5.2. Now we're going to multiply both sides by 3.8. So we have sine of C equals 3.8 times by sine 35 degrees. And it's always good practice to put the 3.8 at the start. Divided by 5.2. We can work that out as being C equals sine to the minus 1 of 3.8 times sine of 35 degrees, all divided by 5.2. Putting that in as an expression uh, avoids any rounding errors. We can work out that angle C is going to be 24.8 degrees to three significant figures. And therefore, angle A, B, C must be 180 degrees minus the sum of 24.8 degrees plus the existing angle which is 35 degrees and when I do this on my calculator I'm going to use the full digits of the 24.8 not the rounded answer which will give us a final answer of the angle ABC is 120 degrees to three significant figures.